Hey guys, this is Arfax345 coming at you today with another review on my tweaks. Um, well not my tweaks, but my favorite tweaks, or my assortment of tweaks. Okay, so the first one we're going to want to go through, the first one I want to go through is Typophone 4. It's my new, um, lock screen. I'm going to show you that. Now, um, I like this lock screen because, it, to me, it emulates a Zune HD, like how it blows up all your information, like the time and the date and stuff. And, um, I like the way you unlock it with just the, like, the two little arrows and the small slide motion, which, in fact, is smaller than the regular one. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get this. Oh, by the way, it doesn't come with a background, but I'm going to put a link in the description on where to get a background like this. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to get it. Oh yeah, and as you notice, um, my regular time isn't there, where the big time would be, um, I would have the regular time with everything else, but that isn't there right now, so I'm going to show you how to get this. First, what you want to go to, first, what you want to, first, what you want to do is go to Cydia, sorry about that, go to Cydia, and, um, look, let it load and refresh and all that, like every other Cydia does, um, you want to you're going to want to search lock screen clock hide and what i mean it's it's in the name itself on what it does it basically hides your lock screen clock okay so after that you're going to want to go back to the search and oh by the way you're going to have to respring after that okay so then you're going to want to look up typo phone 4 Just let that load here. Okay. Okay. And um, I haven't tried Typo Four Phone Typo Phone Four Z for yet, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty. I don't know, pretty good as well. So. You're gonna wanna go to the first one if you want the one that I have right here. Um, you're gonna wanna install it, and after you install it, you're going to want to go to Winterboard. And go to Select Themes, and it'll be right there, or wherever it would end up being downloaded to. Okay, so. Yeah, now I'm going to show you how to get um, WP7, a Windows Phone 7 theme. Uh, it's not called WP7, it's called OS7. But, um, I don't know, I guess WP7 would be a more accurate description of what it is. So, first we're going to go into a little app called Dreamboard. Now what Dreamboard does is it, tapes, it takes all these other th themes and um all these other themes set up by the way like there's no need to use iconoclasm or anything like that it's just all set up um it gives you all these other themes that you would have to download but um it basically takes these themes and collaborates them into one app and you can easily switch back and forth see I was on OS7 now I'm going to go to the Android and show you that so, just to show you how this works, it's all, um, it's all accurate. I think it's accurate. Okay, so after that, um, I'm just going to go to my default and show you how to get this. So, you're going to want to go to Cydia. Just let this load again.
you're gonna wanna search um dream board now um don't get all the cracked versions of dream board because they are unreliable um they crash your springboard a lot so just go with the dream board from the mod my eye um source okay so you're gonna want to download it and after you've downloaded it you're gonna want to look up OS 7 Now, once OS 7, it's going to be the first one up here. And, um, you're just going to want to download it. I mean, you're going to want to install it. Just go to where modif go to where install would be, where mine says modify and install it. So, after that, um, it's going to ask you to respring because every time, you, every time you download a, um, a dream board theme, it'll ask you to respring. So once you've resprung, just go to Dreamboard, and it'll be down here. There you go. And it just takes a while to load. Not a while. It doesn't take that long. It takes like five seconds. Okay, so there we go. It's loaded. Um, as you can see, I have an iPod um live tile. Now, uh, that you're gonna have to go to modmy.com and download that. You're gonna also need iFile and all those other things. I'll put up a tutorial later on this week. Um, okay, so I also want to do a review on Music 3. Now, Music 3, it basically emulates, um, a Zune, a Zune's, um, way of playing music, I guess. So you can see this and now playing and all that, and you have this. You scroll your fingers up and down to change the volume, which I think is pretty cool. And it all works smoothly. Oh, and as you can see, it has shuffle and replay down here at the bottom. And it also gives you the regular options to shuffle shake and to face pause. So... Yeah, that's basically all you have to do. It's pretty easy. Um, if you go to the mod my i um website, uh, just go to Google and look up um mod my OS seven tiles, and it'll have all these different tiles for you. Like City, it didn't come with it. I installed that. Settings is another one that I like that I got. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Uh, thank. Uh, leave some comments. There's some suggestions. Uh, yeah. Thanks. I will be. I will be making another tutorial shortly. Thanks for watching.